Hello friends, Ben Ochart here. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I finally arrived in Nashville. As you can see, we're, we're, we're living out of boxes right now. There, there are just boxes everywhere. Some of the rooms haven't been put together. This is the, uh, the TV room, if you can make it out here behind me. There's no, uh, no furniture in there yet. But there is some progress in the fish room. And uh, I'll share it with you. Let's go down the stairs. These are the stairs down to the garage. You probably saw them in a different video. Had the stairs painted and uh, I had the, the bottom of the garage, the floor of the garage redone. Some of you know that from some posts I put on Instagram. I had it done with epoxy. You can see the, the uh, floor of the garage. Looks pretty good and uh, I think it'll, uh, it'll withstand anything you do to it. But you can see the garage is just the storage area for a lot of the boxes that we haven't unpacked yet. So um, we definitely have a lot of work to do there. And so I gotta clear out this area and what I'm, uh, we had to do some, some basics first. First thing we did, we had to put a new water heater in. So this, this right here is a, this is a brand new water heater that was put in for the house. I'll have a fridge down here in the garage so I can keep things like frozen fish food and things of that nature. And I'm putting in a sink. This is a sink here. The plumber is actually uh, went off to get some parts and he's actually installing this sink today. So I'll have uh, hot and cold running water in the garage. <clears throat> and so um, otherwise I'm loving being out here in, in Tennessee. It's beautiful. It's a little bit cool right now. And, uh, but if you look around here, it's just a, just a gorgeous place. And uh, we'll walk around the front here. I am getting insulation from Home Depot, insulation that I'm going to be attaching to the doors of the garage, and the garage will have a, uh, that way the temperature in there is not going to be too bad. Even though I'm in the tanks will be heated, I'm more concerned about the summer because it gets very hot. I don't want that garage to overheat. I'll probably create some, uh, maybe some venting between the house and the garage, and uh, you can see here the neighborhood. It's a great little neighborhood. I'm on a cul-de-sac and uh, very anxious to get that fish room going. I've been looking at tanks from various sources from, um, I've looked at uh, glass cages. I've looked at uh, water box. I've looked at, uh, at the dollar per gallon sale here at Petco. But every time I check the tanks I want are not available or sold out. So that's kind of a, a, a frustrating situation right now. So at any rate, this is the garage and I am uh, putting it together. I'm probably gonna put a big tank right against that, right against that one wall there. Uh, that'll be probably the show tank. It'll, it'll go right here against this, against this wall right here. That'll be the show tank area. And I'll probably have tanks off to the side, this side and this side. And uh, I, have a, I have a grounded plug here. So this will probably be my main power source but I'll probably have to put a couple, uh, a couple more plugs in that are uh, also grounded, just so I can, just so I can do it properly and not, uh, not blow a fuse every time uh, the heaters in the tanks turn on. So uh, that's that's the update. I've got a lot of work to do. You can see around me. I have a lot of cleanup and preparation, and I need to get some tanks. I'm looking at a 75 that might be delivered. Uh, picking up a used 75, it looks in pretty good shape. It's drilled and comes with a sump, so I might be picking that up. We'll see. Uh, we'll see how that goes. And uh, but I appreciate you tuning in. And uh, any advice, tips, be sure to comment below. I appreciate you hanging in there with me during this transition. And uh, I'm seriously looking at uh, three three particular types of fish: uh, discus, African cichlids, of course and of course your South Americans, including things like your chocolate cichlids, your uh, red tares, your green tares, uh, fish like that, which I'm finding more and more interesting. Uh, I've got to get going. I've got the, uh, my plumber's back and uh, he's backing his truck here into the driveway. And his name is Ray. Everybody I've met out here has been so nice. And uh, So at any rate, thank you so much. And uh, you can see the uh, you can see the back of Ray's truck here. 
You can see we're not in California anymore. There you go. Got all the parts you need? All right. This is my plumber. Name's Ray. He's with a company called Wizard. And uh, if you're in Middle Tennessee, you need a plumber. Call yeah. Wizard Plumbing. Wizard Plumbing. There you yes, go. Sir. All right. That's going to go on my YouTube channel. Is that okay with you? That's fine. All right. There you go, folks. That's it for me. Thank you for tuning in, friends.